After exploring the Nile River in northern Uganda, we turned south again, driving along the shoreline of Lake Albert. But first, you always need to stock up on some fresh chapats as a road trip snack. We passed a variety of landscapes, from populated hills of banana plantations to forests along the Albertine Rift. We set up camp at Kluger's Guest Farm, just outside the town of Fort Portal, where we sampled a great combination of German cuisine and local delights. overlooks the magnificent Ruinzori mountain range, famous for its multi-day hikes and rugged beauty. Its snow-capped peak, Mount Stanley, is the third highest peak in Africa. We enjoyed lazy days in camp, perfecting our own chapat making skills, catching up on work and enjoying walks in the beautiful garden and forest edge on the farm. Shy black and white colobus monkeys joined us in camp and African blue flycatchers foraged nimbly around the trees with their cute flicking tails. Further south, we reached the Queen Elizabeth National Park. Straddling the equator and including parts of both lakes George and Edward, it is known for its tree climbing lions. landscape is dominated by grasslands and euphorbia trees interspersed with large herds of Ugandan cob and buffalo. This park is a true nature hub with a number of wildlife and natural attractions which is why it is one of the most popular parks to visit in Uganda. stumbled upon our first lions a few hours in, we had a good chuckle when a bucky packed with locals hit the brakes and reversed to take selfies with the equally surprised tawny cat. We were lucky enough to also add a few new lifers to our birding list. To our surprise, we even caught a glimpse of the very rare giant forest hogs. Lions seem to be the theme of this park for us as we also came across a female taking advantage of the shade provided by one of the tourist vehicles in the scorching midday sun. Despite reports from others about the park and its low game numbers, we experienced it as a diverse park with magnificent landscapes and animals.
We were treated to a spectacular end to our day when we found the pride of lions from earlier in the day again. It is always special to spend time with these social big cats. We sat with them as they yawned, stretched and greeted each other before they finally set out for their night's mission. After a magnificent sunset, we set up camp exactly the way we love it most in the parks, surrounded by no one and nothing else but the bush and its creatures. The next morning was met by hippos grunting from the misty Kazinga channel and fish eagles proclaiming a new dawn in Africa. Like Ernest Hemingway said, I never knew of a morning in Africa when I woke up that I was not happy. Here are some trip tips for Queen Elizabeth National Park and surrounds. For more info on these tips, head to the blog link in the description below. Join us next time as we head to the Buendi Impenetrable Forest in search of mountain gorillas.